Good morning, all saints. Look at this beautiful church, our beautiful church. And finally, we have the sunshine. Hasn't it been a beautiful weekend? Well, we delight in, in it. And I've no doubt that our churchyard and um, actually this tree here, I think, is now absolutely gloriously full of cherry blossom. So um, we delight in God's, the richness of God's creation. Anyway, we come together for morning prayer. I am also going to be recording a very short reflection on the Good Shepherd, which is our gospel reading for today. And the bulletin will go out today. So we will share links to other Eucharist services in the area if you want a full Eucharist service. So hopefully there is something for everyone. But let us still ourselves in the presence of God and pray together. We praise our God this day. We give ourselves to God this day. We ask God to help us this day. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. O oh, Almighty God, we come to seek the living among the living and to follow Christ as he goes before us to Galilee and into joys eternal. Let the hope of the resurrection shine in our praises as it leads us into more faithful witness and more joyful service through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who loves and reigns in glory, who lives and reigns in glory now and forever. Amen. The Good Shepherd calls his sheep by name. Alleluia. And they follow because they know his voice. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, whose son Jesus is the good shepherd of your people, grant that when we hear his name, we may know him who calls us each by name and follow where he leads, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, now and forever. Amen. And the psalm, in any of the words in bold, please feel free to, um, to join in. And where you see um, the response, please join in. Give me life, O Lord, according to your word. O Lord, your word is everlasting. It even stands firm in the heavens. Your faithfulness also remains from one generation to another. You have established the earth and it abides. So also your judgment stand firm this day, for all things are your servants. If your law had not been my delight, I should have perished in my trouble. Give me life, O Lord, according to your word. I will never forget your commandments, for by them you have given me life. I am yours, O oh, save me, for I have sought your commandments. The wicked have waited for me to destroy me, but I will meditate on your testimonies. I have seen an end to all perfection, but your commandment knows no bounds. Give me life, O oh Lord, according to your word. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And now the gospel reading, a reading from Luke chapter 24, 25 verses 25 to 32. He said to them, how foolish you are and how slow to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Did not the Messiah have to suffer these things and then enter his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning himself. 
As he approached the village to which they were going, Jesus continued on and if, as if he was going no further. But they urged him strongly, stay with us, for it is nearly evening. The day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and began to give it to them. Then their eyes were opened and they recognized him. And he disappeared from their sight. They asked each other, were not our hearts burning within us while he talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us? This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh God, who, whose blessed son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of the bread, open the eyes of our faith that we may behold him in all his redeeming work who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O risen Lord, be with us still and open our blinded eyes. Break the bread, our hearts to fill, that joy throughout the world may rise. And now our prayers of intercession. Our prayers of intercession today we're going to use silence. So wherever you are, whether you're listening to this on headphones, whether you're at home, walking in the park, wherever you are, just take the stillness. If you can't take the stillness outside of yourself, if that's beyond your control, take the stillness of your heart. And I will just say the areas of prayer and we'll leave a few short moments of silence between them. Let us pray. Lord, we place into your hands all that is this day, all of the tasks that are, be, are to be performed. Be with us throughout the day, even through till this night. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we place into your hands this troubled world and all its needs. We place into your hands all the burdens of our hearts, all those whom we love, all those in trouble, all those in darkness, that their eyes might be opened to the truth of your presence among us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray this day for our church, our Church of All Saints, for the Diocese of London, all the parishes, all the communities that we seek to serve. Lord, we pray for your worldwide church that we can be a beacon of light that we are your body here on earth. Father, we place into your hands all those who are grieving, all those who are nursing the dying, 
We pray for your presence with them. That even in the midst of despair, they have a sense of your peace and your comfort and your endless love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept these prayers through the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And we pray the collect, almighty God, whose Son, Jesus Christ, is the resurrection and the life. Raise us, who trust in him from the death of sin to the life of righteousness, that we may seek those things which are above where he reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And we pray together, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. And let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. So enjoy the sunshine. If it's still, um, I've just rec I've recorded this on Saturday, so if it's still um, uh, sunny tomorrow, which I suspect it will be, enjoy it. Um, we hope to see many of you soon and do get in touch as always if um, you, know, you need prayer, if you just fancy a chat and a catch up and reconnecting. Um, but prayers go with you, each and every one of you this day. Uh, go well. Take care.